Okay, for number six, it's a fourth degree polynomial. Uh, the leading coefficient is positive, so I know it, it looks something like this over here. And what happens in the middle, that's up to uh, my analysis at this point. So if I were just looking at the positive roots, you know, let me outline, it's written down for us. I got this over here. So what do I know for the positive roots? S equals one, there's only one sign change there. That means P, right, has to be, uh, has to be one. There's one positive root, all right? So what I'm gonna do then to show the positive root, and that's what they want me to do, uh, positive root between two and three, all I have to do now is analyze the function between two and three, and I'm using the intermediate value theorem. Now granted, you know, the, the, the looking at it, I'm gonna say at three it's positive and at two it's negative. So it's gotta, it's gotta go through at least once. I'm sorry, and not at least once, at, at most once between that, right? Because the P is one. I shouldn't say at most once, once. It goes through once. So we just showed that part, all right? Now, when you do the rotation part, you really want to take a negative root, making a positive. Let's look at this sign analysis over here: plus, minus, plus, minus. So, what do you go over there? One change there. One change there. One change there. So, s equals three. All right. Let me go to the k. I'll show you where that's written down. Uh, s equals three. Right over here. So, what could p be? P could be one or p could be three. And what I do, I start to analyze it. And what do I analyze? I analyze the actual function. This is the function up here. Whoops, sorry about that. And I start to analyze the function. All right? And we're looking for those negative roots. All right, let me remind you that we have a general shape of the curve up and up and we're staying below zero now. We've already showed there's only one root to the right of zero, it's between two and three. All right, so we're gonna go below the zero, and certainly for the, the, the first case here, below the zero, right, it's definitely gonna be a negative number. The y-intercept's minus two, all right? So let's go for that. At zero, it's below the uh, x-axis, all right? And then you're gonna to go to minus one. And what happens there is it's gonna go up. It's gonna become a positive number. Let me emphasize what we're doing over here. We're doing this. All right, we're doing that right there. Let me sure we write that down for you, f of minus one. That's gonna be one minus five plus seven minus two. That's definitely a positive number. All right. Now what happens? Let's do the f of minus two. At some point, things are gonna come somewhat obvious. 16 minus 20 plus 14 minus two. Definitely positive. I'm hoping you're starting to realize that as I go further out, the only possible place for a root now is over here. It's the only possible place. If I keep going out, minus three, you get 81, minus five times nine, plus 21, minus two. They're an out positive, all right? So I know that much. We'll look at the picture later. Now, certainly it's a fourth degree polynomial, and I know there's one root to the right of zero. And there's four roots total, so what do I know about this over here using the scratch rule of sign? There's either one root here or three roots here. And I don't know. All right, let's take a look at the picture. We, we could do more analysis, though, to figure that out. Let's look at the picture, see what happens. All right, get my pen out. And there's actually one root between that, all right? Now, where was the other root we were talking about? Let me remind you. We said it was between two and three. Let's go back over here. Let's show you there's one root between two and three, right over here. 
And again, this thing is sailing off in that direction. All right? Okay, it's done. Thank you. Oh, before I go, Ron Bannon, email address, Bannon, B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. Thank you.